right, welcome back, everybody. This is Dom from MacMixing.com, and we're going to go over creating artificial harmonies inside of Melodyne. It's very easy to do, and you'll get some pretty natural-sounding harmonies. Um, so what I'm actually going to do, take this first right here, and I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to go ahead and open up a Melodyne insert. And I'm going to go ahead and connect to track two. We'll actually go into Melodyne here. And we will name track two Harmony. So now that we have that named, um, go back and go ahead and transfer that vocal. I sit here clutching uselessness, keys for doors that don't exist. I crack. My teeth on pearls. All right, now I had a little bit of phase going on there from some of the plugins that I have added on the first uh, vocal track above it. Um, but really, that's not and none of that's going to matter once we uh, shift the harmony here. Um, so we right here we have the uh, blob right underneath it. Uh, another way of doing this, you could actually yield the same result as uh, transferring it in here um, but you can actually have your you can have this pre-edited is we'll just go ahead and delete this and I'll show you the other way to do that delete that and uh, make sure that you have your track down here connected to Melodyne uh, your harmony track we're gonna go ahead and just take this track right here copy it Know, Apple C or Command C or whatever. Click on our Harmony track and we're going to paste it. And it's going to paste uh, that copy right underneath it. Now we can go ahead and click in here and uh, we have the same vocal editing, uh, vocal edited settings that I did on uh, the initial track above it. So um, from here, uh, this is really cool because within Melodyne you can actually. It'll it'll play for you both tracks. You can hear the harmony. And sometimes it makes those weird buzzing sounds. Um, but what we're gonna do? I sit here clutching uselessness. I sit here clutching. I sit here clutching uselessness. Okay, so um, you can hear the harmony already being set in, um, but we're not exactly on in certain spots. So uh, basically, there's no way to automatically do it. Um, when you're getting really detailed like this, you want to kind of get a manual take at it and make sure everything's perfect. So I know that first few words are correct because I can hear the harmony. I sit here clutching you. Okay, right where it gets uh, to this form, right here is where we go wrong. So see how? See how you can actually hear the harmony uh, as you're clicking and dragging. So now that's into place. I sit here clutching uselessness. Uh, so there's a harmony. I sit here clutching uselessness. Keys for doors that don't exist. I See, now we're a little off again. Um, but as you go through here, you'll develop, a, you'll, you'll see there's a, a distinct pattern with all this. Keys for doors. Keys for doors that don't exist, I crack. I, I crack my teeth on pearl. Teeth on teeth on teeth on pearl. Pearl on pearls. My teeth on pearl. Teeth on teeth on teeth 
on teeth on pearls. All right, so now we have uh, the harmony edited pretty well. I sit here clutching useless lists, keys for doors that don't exist. I crack my teeth on pearls. And that yields us a pretty damn perfect harmony. Uh, what I like to do, though, uh, is uh, go back into Pro Tools, and uh, we'll go to our mix window here, and I'll go down to uh, my track where I have the harmony on, which I happen to know is right here. We'll just I'll rename that to harmony. Don't get confused. And I'm gonna go ahead and just lower that, and put it in context to where it's gonna be inside of the mix. Um, now that we have that there, let's go ahead and listen to it. I sit here clutching useless lists, keys for doors that don't exist. I crack my teeth on pearls. And it doesn't get any better than that, really. And what you can also do, too, what I like to do, is uh, just take that mo modulation in a little bit tighter on the background harmonies. Uh, to get it more of a tuned effect, but you're not really going to be able to hear it, especially if it's, uh, you know, just an underlying harmony that's not supposed to be in the forefront. Uh, let's go ahead and listen to that. I sit here clutching useless lists, keys for doors that don't exist. I crack my teeth on pearls. And so that gave us a pretty good harmony there. Um, I hope this was helpful for you. And, uh, you know, next time we'll be going over some of the other, uh, some of the other tools in here. Um, so stay tuned. Uh, once again, this is Dom from MacMixing.com. And I'll see you guys soon.